today's message jone mulai tsaba ka cheno catch the little foxes swara phukujwe tse nyenyane hallelujah this is a message people of god we started last week ona ke mulai tsa o ro qadile mbeke fetseng and uh, we took our reading from the book of song of solomon chapter number 2 verse 15 jole re thotse palo ya rona ho tswa pine nya di buke nya di fela tsa solomon chapter 2 verse 15 so people of god last week as we read this uh, verse jole tsha ba samotimo be ke fetseng ha re bala timana yena we came to an understanding re tlile go tlisi song that the little foxes ya re di phukujwe tse nyenyane destroys the vineyard disenya masimo and from this scripture me o tswa le mo lena we established a statement rafana ka polelo that foxes hore di phukujwe as little as they may appear to be la ha di ka bona hala di le nyenyane they are destroyers ti asenya foxes di phukujwe as little as they may appear to be la ha di ka bona hala di le nyenyane ha ka e they are spoilers ti asenya so people of god jo le tshaba sa motimo i said to you ke tse go lona it is not big things ha sen thotse golo that destroys big people tse di am bana ba pharming but it is little things e ba ke thotse nyenyane that are ignored tse o ipapanya tsona that destroys big people tse he le tsang batho ba pharming foxes are despised when you look at the fox phukujwe how we sheba o ka nyatsa you can despise a fox o ka nyatsa phukujwe until you see the damage it has caused ho fitsela o bona kotsi yo ka yetsang it is not big things ha sen thotse golo that destroy big men tse di am bana ba pharming but it is little things e mba ke nthotse nyenyane that destroys big men tse di am bana ba pharming when i speak about little things ha ke bua ka nthotse nyenyane i'm speaking about little habits ke bua ka tlwaelo tse nyenyane little bad habits di tlwaelo tse mpe tse nyenyane when they are ignored ha we phapanya tsona they can lead to your destruction di ka isa timelo nya ha o People of God last week we started this message. Chaba sa motimo be ke fetseng re qadile moletsa ona. And I said one of the foxes that you need to catch. Ka re engwe ya phukujo tso o hlokang ho di tswara. It is your tongue. Ke le le mela ha o. The Bible says in the book of James. Se be le rubuke nya Jacobo. The tongue le le me is the is the smallest member of the body. But it is able to defile the whole body. The tongue, it is the smallest member of the body. It does not even have bones. But I tell you, in as much as the tongue is little, it has scattered relationships. As little as the tongue is, it has destroyed friendships. Listen to the command. Today marriages, many people in marriage they don't have peace. Ka tseno ba thoba ngata le nyalong ha bana khotso. Because of a little thing. Ka ba kala nthwe nyenyane. A little box. Phukujwe e nyenyane. Called the tongue. E bitswane le leme. People of God, chaba sa motimo. We need to be careful. Re hloka o ela hloko. As children of God, jalo ka bana ba motimo. On how we live our life. Hore na re phela maphelo a rona jwang. We need to be careful. Re hloka o ela hloko. With the little things. Ka nthotse nyenyane. We do. Se o re di etsa. In our daily life. Maphelo a rona a letsatsi le letsatsi. Because o bane it is either they are contributing to our success dia tsetela bakeng sa katlao ya rona or our failure kapa ditsetela bakeng sa o hlulaya ha rona i don't 
want to talk much on the tongue because I spoke about the tongue last week. I want to move to the other fox. Yeah, 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 the other you watch the first part of this message where I talk about the issue of the tongue are we together are we together so today our focus is on the little fox called dishonor This honor. Many people today are suffering. Many people today who are gifted. People who are anointed. People who are qualified but but when long they are suffering today by a sukula kacheno because hopani they lack honor but for cat compo many people but when they have gifts habana lidim po many people but when they are qualified habat swanelele they have a belief that they don't need other people and other people need them I have seen people who are talented go to the graveyard without making any impact because they lack character there are people even in our generation and time who think they only need God to survive there are still people like that people who treat other people anyhow without even regarding them for where God has even placed them because they believe that they only need God to survive. But people of God, there is something I want to open your eyes with. The same God that you think you only need him to survive. Everything, in everything that he wants to do on earth, he partners with men. There are people who look down on other people. There are people who disrespect other people. Who believe that they only need God to make it in life. Let me warn you, my child. Let me warn you, child of God. The same God you are talking about. Who you believe you only need him. Before he does anything here on earth. He looks for men. And partners with men. When the children of Israel in the Old Testament were praying to God. When you read the book of Exodus. The children of Israel cried to God. They said, God, we need freedom. God, we need deliverance. But people of God, what amazes me is that God being able to deliver them. He, he showed himself to be a God of principles. God did not 
come down to deliver them. God looked for a suitable man so that he can use that man for their deliverance. The Bible says God called Moses. When God heard the cry of his people, God did not come, but God raised men. As children of God, it is ignorance that makes us to think we only need God. People of God, the person you are looking down on today, maybe your helper tomorrow. The person you look down on today, maybe your savior tomorrow. Don't look down on with an understanding that you, you, you are a child of God. You only need God. God raised a despised who was known to be a murderer by the name of Moses. The same people who saw him as a murderer yesterday but are the very same people he led don't look down on anyone on account of where they are today they are mistaken today because tomorrow is mystery yeah. no one knows by the present signs what will happen tomorrow no one knows whether tomorrow it will still rain or it will be sunny tomorrow is in the hands of God they can predict, yes, they can predict that it's like it will rain hard, it will what? But God is the one who knows what will happen. The despised man by the name of Moses. A man who was known to be a murderer. Became a savior. I'm talking to somebody today that is looked down upon. Don't change who you are because of how people are treating you. Just know that tomorrow is in the hands of God. God the Bible says he used the despised. Many people in those days, when they looked at Moses, they have already said this man is a murderer. They did not know they are going to need him tomorrow. Listen to me. Mamele. Someone will say, oh no, it's Old Testament. When you go to New Testament, how the testament when God Himself wanted to come on earth, He could not just come and break protocol. He had to partner with a woman. Ah. God, he, he, he had the capacity to come. But because there is nothing he can do on earth without men. He had to go to the woman. And partner with her. 
He came as Jesus Christ. Why, when we are Christian, we have the mentality that we can just do things anyhow? Because we believe we have that capacity, we are anointed. We, are we are skilled. We are skilled. Why? If God Himself does not disregard people. You need people to, to survive here. You need people to make it here. No matter how qualified you are. Learn not to look down on anyone. Honor is the highest spiritual law. Honor is the highest spiritual law. Why? When you look at the Ten Commandments, how shall All of them are found on the principle of honor. Thou shalt not kill. It means you have to live well with other people. Thou shalt not be a false witness. Ah, dear Lord. It still teach you how to live well with men. How to live in honor. Honor. Is the gateway to success and promotion. Today we have people that are qualified. People who will tell you that I've studied one, two, three, and I'm still unemployed. Because when they go to apply for jobs, they say you are overqualified. They say they are what? They are overqualified. Something like that. But the truth behind this is they say you are overqualified because they have a belief that because you are too qualified, you may not honor. You will come and place demands. Experience has taught them that it is not easy for many people to be too qualified and humble. Buba rutila that is why most people that are too qualified, they are not getting jobs. People of God, honor. I say it's the highest spiritual law. Why? Because honor gives you access. And access gives you promotion. Let me tell you, your gift can bring you before great people. But your attitude can remove you. It is only honor that can keep you. Your gift your skill can bring you before great people. Great people can want to know who are you, who are you? Come, 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 come. But your attitude can keep you dead or remove you. We all know how Mordecai how Mordecai entered the palace. 
The Bible says, Bible eri Mordecai head Mordecai wile auka while they wanted to assassinate the king haba pata hopula ya morena and when Mordecai head me ha Mordecai auka he said according to the principle of honor are ho ya ka dipehelo tsa thompo thou shall not kill ha o ata me ya hopula ya Mordecai went to the report to the king Mordecai aya ho bulella morena and when he reported and saved the life of the king me ha bulella morena me aboloka bophelo ba hai he was rewarded for it ya ba o fumana mo putso ba ke nsa seo why hopane because above everyone who was there he is the one who should honor hopane ho ba tshopotle ba ne ba le mo ke na ileng a bontsa thompo people of god your success in life cha ba sa motimo ka tlo ya ha o bophelo has to do with who you choose to honor etsa maisana mo ho le hore o khetile o hlompha mang your failure in ho hlule ha o bophelo has to do with who you choose to this ho tsa maisana lo ro o khetile o hlompha mang to say how o ka re tswang let us go to scriptures ha re mangolo i want to make a practical example with the book of deuteronomy ke batla ho etsa mohlala o bona halang ka book ya deuteronomy 5:16 5:16 deuteronomy 5:16 deuteronomy 5:16 it reads Honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you why that your days may be long hey and that it may be well with you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you please read it for us hai fuma ne ile e ba le tshena Sompanta tao le mmao Mhm jalo ka ha na motimo wa hao a o laetse e le hore o tla o phile ha lelele o atlehe na heng e o morena motimo wa hao a o nea nyona Listen to listen to me people of God Mamele ntsha ba sa motimo Please look at me ka ku pontshebe Bible Bible commands us ya re laela instructs us ya re laela to honor our father me wa ro nta te wa ro na and our mother le me wa ro na and this promise me tsepiso yena this this instruction taelo yena it has a promise attached e na le tsepiso e tsamayang le yona it is foolishness ke bo watla Yes I'm sorry to use it but I want to use it that it is foolishness to pray for longevity horora pelo phela na kwetelele why you disrespect your parents o sa hlompi batswadi ba ha o it is foolishness ke bo watla I'm talking like this because I have my children here I'm about to pray for I want them to listen to me ke bua tsena ba ne ke na le bana ba ka mona e ke to ba rapela ke batla ba mamele is foolishness ke bua tla to pray for longevity ho rapela o phela na kwetelele while you disrespect your parents o sa hlompi batswadi ba hao the bible says honor them bibele re ba hlompe honor them ba hlompe that it may be well with you ho re o lokelwe in the land that the lord has given unto you le fatsen lo morena motimo wa hao a o nea lona some people here their lives are stuck baba batho baba maphelo a bona mona a yeme ngqailo ngwe because it is not well with them in the land that the lord has given them ho bana ha wa loka le fatsen lo motimo a ba fileng lona i repeat some people batho baba they are here but the mona crying bayala oh men of god help me Hore mohlanka motimo ntuse I need God's intervention. Ke hloka motimo a kene tabenyaka. Because hopani they failed to honor ba hloleile o hlompha their parents. Ba tswa di ba bona. Therefore, ka ho it is not well ha ho hantle for them in the land of the living that the Lord has given unto them. Ba ke nsa bona le fatseng lo motimo wa feelings lona. The Bible says honor your father and your mother. Bibele re hlompha mmaolentata that you may live long. 
That it may be well with you in the land that the, your father has given unto you. So some people, they are career as stuck. They are praying to God. But failing to honor their parents. What is blocking them is their treatment towards their parents. Because they believe they only need God. I'm a, I'm a child of God. You are a drunkard. My father is a drunkard, you know that one. My mother, you know, I, she says something, you know. Prostitute this. Same. Ma. Me waka tate waka. The Bible says honor them. Bible re ba shompe. It didn't say if they are born again. Bible re haya re hai be ba tsetse la bubedi. It says as long as they are your mother. Ere ha fela ele ba tswa di ba And your father. You need to honor them. That you may live long. And that it may be well for you. In the land of the living. Some of you, you just, you don't even, Mamela, you have been prayed for. You just need your mother to say, I bless your journey. And prayed. You just need your mother, your father. To just lay hands on you and say, My child, I bless you. But because their hearts are heavy. Because of you. Look at what, what has happened to you. Honor. Tompo. Honor. Tompo. Honor your mother. And your father. That you may live long. So it is foolishness to pray for longevity. I want to, to live long without doing what needs to be done to live long. Oh, am I saying something difficult here? Yes. Everything that your mother will say to you, <laughs> you come to pass. Your father said to you, <laughs> to come to pass. They are given authority over you by God. You didn't come, you didn't just jump here. Today, you look at our generation. Oh my God. They are looking at As long as somebody is not their biological mother, <laughs> or their biological father, they can treat them anyhow. They can speak to them anyhow. What are we becoming? Are we not going to be the generation that says there is no God? While God is moving so mightily in this generation and time. Are ah, we church? Today you, you come out of your you, you, you see, I'm talking now. I want to talk to this my my little ones. You, they have the audacity to hug each other, kiss each other in front of somebody's house. Because it's not their mother. Anyone who's old enough to be your mother is your mother. Everyone who's 
only one who's old enough to be your father is your father. Mantsa pa manya moholo ha ka le ho ka bantate tate wa ha o ke ntate wa ha o. Wa le bana ba skolo hana Johan. If you want to succeed, hai be o batla o tswelela. Be of a good report. E ba le tabatse ntle tse buang ka wena. What is the community saying about you? Na ba thoba ring ka wena. Because sometimes somebody will want to help you from the same community and say, hey, I saw that child. And somebody will say, no, no, that one. Our success is always linked to somebody. We need people to succeed. We need people to make it in life. Are you look at the generation today? They don't care in front of your house. Just in front of your house. You, you, come, you come out, they don't bother. I want to warn my children who are here trusting God to succeed in life. Don't let them see be a good report. Don't call unnecessary cases upon yourselves. Old people always come out and curse you out of their house. And you know the power of the tongue. The Bible says out of tongue it says upon the tongue lies the power of life and death so you 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 need to be careful when you want to live long Honor your mother and your father. You want to succeed? The Bible says, honor your mother and your father. And let me tell you something. That's why I'm saying to you, I repeat, your mother, your father, it is everyone who is old enough to be your mother or your father. Not only the one you stay with in the house. Hope that our young ones are listening. You want for things to go well for you here on earth. Be careful how you behave. Because Baba and Baba now, Baba because they are cursed in the community. They have been cursed. And it is coming to pass. They are cursed. They can just answer an elderly person anyhow. Mm. Your mother is old as she is now because she could not answer the elderly ones. Your father could not answer the elderly ones. What are we becoming? Do you see no chenana when you are 50? Hey, we celebrate you now. 50. <laughs> are you old? Are you old? When you are 50, you deserve celebration. How le 50 or shoka rekete We celebrate you. Reakitika. Do you see where the, the world is going? Now we are born on Do you see where the world is going? Now we are born on the So when you are fifty now, is it? But in those years, because our elderly ones were full of respect, they lived long. In Palimonte, Hobane, but Zadi Baruna Baneba Tletzi Trompo, Baneba Pilana Quitelini, they will reach eighty, Baneba Fisha di Lemonte, eighty, ninety, hundred. Today, that you are 50. How 50? We thank God for you. Honor. Compo. Some of people 
Bible here. Baba mbaba tumuna. The reason why you are still struggling. Le bakalo unzo sukula. It may be how you treat your spouse. E kabati la eo otara mulekano wa hau kayona. Failing to display honor. Osa honi hubonta trompo. To your spouse. Homo lekano wa hau. That little fox. Pukuje eo enye nyani. That little thing. Ntweo enye nyani. Can disturb your journey. E kasiti sale eto la hau. First Peter. Petrosi wapili. 3 verse 5 to 7. 3 verse 5 we are 7 1 Peter 3 verse 5 to 7 Petrosi wapili 3 verse 5 we are 7 verse 5 says for in this manner in former times listen to that statement in former times the holy women who trusted in God also adorned themselves being submissive to their own husbands. As Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. <laughs> Who, whose daughters you are if you do good and are not, and not afraid with any terror. Verse 7. Husbands, likewise, dwell with them with understanding. Giving what? Giving honor to the wife as to the as to the weaker vessel and as being hers together of the grace of life. That your prayers may not be that. Please read it for us. Hai fumanile e balea jina. Hobane kekamu kwa ojualu. Hale. Le bonaba sadiba hale lang. Bat se pile mutimu. Ba ne mba ikhabisa. Haba ne ba utwa ba nababona. Jolo ka ha Sarah ane a utwa Abrahama. Amiza mo rena wa ha e. Ew, le luna le le mbaradi ba ha e. Ha le eti hante. Ha le satu suiki le to. Kamu kwa o jualu. Le luna banna. Le pidi sane le bona ka klokomelo. Ka hore, mousadi ki pizza e fiti si sanga o fokola. Me le ba shompe, itwe le ma jalefa ha moho le luna a moha uwa bu pilo. Me rapelo ya luna, itle isike ya siti iswa. Le ba shompe o huwe za le juan, me rapelo ya luna, isike ya siti iswa. But people still believe they only need God. But the Bible says, honor them. Live with them with understanding that they are weak. That your prayers may not be hindered. The scripture is clear. But you find. <coughs> A man speaking anyhow with the wife, treating the wife anyhow, and then is a Christian. Me o fuma na mna abuwa le masadi ya heka tila ya ratang, amutwara ka tila ya ratang, me a ipiza mo kreste. Because he only needs God. Hoba no otlo ka motimo fela. But the Bible says, Impa bibile eri, if you don't honor your partner, how sa shom pimo le kanu wa hao? The Bible says, is it Sarah? The Bible says she, she called the husband my lord. If I'm talking church, yes. my Lord, imagine, my Lord, Morenawaka, my Lord, Morenawaka. The woman said, Sarah called him my Lord. Sarah, I'm a pizza Morenaka. And you look at the polygamy that was there in scriptures those days. Me o sheba o rene banyala hanga tahaka kamu mangulo matatinga. Baba mbata ba, mba banya lelo la libo penaina. <laughs> but they respected their husbands. Mba ne ba shompa abalika ne babona. I'm not promoting polygamy. Are you listening? Amen. I'm not saying women should be cheated on. But honor. Mba tompo. Honor your partner. Shompa mlika ne wahao. Sometimes 
the marriage is 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 is, is chaos kana go tseding le nyalo le ka hara because because of people understand this 50-50 ho bane batho ba utlwisisa hore ke 50-50 oh my god oh my god don't respect your husband you don't respect your husband how some people can wa how because 50-50 ho bane ke 50-50 that does not work so has se betsi Yes you are not supposed to be abused. Kennete ha wa tlameya ho hlikifetswa. But you cannot talk to your husband anyhow. Empa o ka se buile monna ha o ka tsela wo irata. Three team anyhow. Wa motswara ka tsela wo irata. Ona. Ha ke ona is the is the highest. Ha ke re hlompha ke ona ye o dimo ka o fitisisa. Because it can even hinder your prayer. Ho bane e gona o thibela le thapelo tsa ha o ha le siyo. Imagine treating your wife if if she, your wife is not happy about you. Mosadi wa ha sa thabaka wena. It may be why you are still suffering. E ka nna ya ba le bakala o roba no mo sokola tsena. Is there your wife not being you are treating her sometimes you just ridicule her in front of people this 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 yes. Na le bonta tebelo re le bona ka nnete 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 ha ba tswaga bo mehantle. Oha. But because ke breadwinner let me tell you people of god you need to honor your partner o hloka o hlompha molekano wa for your prayers bakeng sa thapelo tsa hao not to be hindered hore this gets a tjelwa that's what the bible says ke se o bibile se tshong you see how serious honor is na o ya bona hore Kampa ke taba bo hlokwa ha ka ka. This honor is a fox. Ho hlompolla ke phukujwe. It looks like a little thing you just speak. E bona hala e le nthwenyane o bua fela. But it can cost you greatly. E mpa e gona ho nkela nthotse kgolo. I pray that the Lord settle peace in your marriages in the name of Jesus. Ke rapela hore motimo a tlise khotso manyalong a lona ka le pizzo la Jesu. Romans 13 verse 1. Ba Roma 13 verse 1. You're still talking about honor. Rentse re bua ka hlompho. Romans 13 verse 1. Ba Roma 13 verse 1. Trying to show you the people that you need to honor. Ke le ka go bontsha batho o hlokang go ba hlompha so that your life may be well. Hore bo phelo ba ha o bo be hantle. Because people believe that ah, I'm a Christian. I as long as I pray I fast I'll fast 40 days. Ho bane batho ba ngata ba dumela ra ke mo Kriste ha fela ke rapela ke itima di jo ke ta itima di jo. Matsa tsa ma shome a mane. Romans 13 verse 1. Ba Roma 13 verse 1. Ke ba ka o kwala. Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Yes eh. Hai fuma nile e ba le tshena. Motho ka mong a ikokobetse ka tlasa borena. Ho bane ha ho borena bo satseng ho motimo. Marena a lenteng a beilwe ke motimo. The government. Muso. You need to honor them. Re hloka o ba hlompha. No matter how anointed you are. Ho sa khathala tse ho nona le tlolo ha ka ka. If they say no. Habare a e it can work against you. E ka sebetsa gahlano lo wena. Ah, if I'm talking. No matter how skilled you are. Ho sa gathala tse ho rona le bokgoni bo bokakang. If they say no. Habare a e is no. Ke a e. So you you there are people who just speak anyhow. Ho na le batho ba ipuela mfela. They speak anyhow. Babu a fela. While they are busy uh, doing business plan. Hantse ba rala moralo wa khwebo to become to tender. Hore ba kene di tender re. But they are speaking anyhow. Empa ba ipuela fela. They are writing anything on Facebook. Ba ngola eng ka pa in Facebook. This ANC. This Ramaphosa. But the bantse ba etsa business plan e kana go ba lo tender. Mm. 
You are working against your own prayer. O sebetsa khahlano le thapelo ya ha. O go lo tendaga. O tsongola fela ntwe e batla. Go and tender. Go. Samaya. If they can be honest with you, they will remind you. You say you 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 remember that day. Haba ka ba le nnetelwena ba tla go hopotsa ba 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 go check your facebook sa ma lo shaba facebook nya hao you are where you are because you talk too much o mo o le nteng ka ba ka la o bua ha holo and ke bona ba itseng freedom of speech ake ke bona ba itseng gana le freedom of speech but Talk anyhow, I'm telling you. The Bible says they are placed by God. So be careful. They have power. I'm not trying to sound like a politician here. I'm telling you the truth and the realities of life. I'm not a politician. I'm a servant of God. But I'm telling you some of the things you come here for me to pray for, but you you yourself because you can't control your lips. You are working against your answer. Honor. Honor. To honor people here. Both those who are above you and below you the secret of success is honor leaders that are there that are placed by god yes when they are wrong they are wrong i mean mistakes are there we see them but what I'm trying to say is be careful how you handle things. Last but not least, let's go to 1 Timothy 5.17. I'm trying to show you the kind of people you need to honor here. Because these are the people who have answers to what you need. I said first Timothy five seventeen. Timothy our five seventeen. First Timothy five verse seventeen. Timothy our five verse seventeen. Let the elders who rule well be counted worthy of double honor. Heaven. <laughs> Are you listening? Let the elders who rule well be counted worthy of double honor especially those who labor in the weight and doctrine please read it for us baholo ba disang hantle ba ke ba balwe ho ba ba tshwanelwa ke hlompho e fitisang ha holo ba sebetsa mpolelong le thutong ya lentswe they they are worthy of what double those are men and women of God. Not the one who saying the Bible has been saying honor, honor, honor. When it talks about men and women of God, it says they are worthy of double. Want you to know this scripture about Thessalonians five. First Thessalonians five verse twelve to thirteen. But Thessalonica Papili five verse seventeen. Verse twelve to thirteen. First Thess Thessalonians. But Thessalonica chapter five. Papili chapter five. Verse twelve to thirteen. Verse twelve to thirteen. It says, And we urge you, brethren, to recognize those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you and to 
and to esteem them very high Hiban. highly in love for their work's sake I said 13 to 14 right for work's sake be at peace be at peace among yourselves verse 12 to 13 yes no verse 12 to 13 yes real rapela bana besu riri like le hlompe ba sebetsang ka hara lona ba le busa moreneng ba le gothatsang le ba hlompe ha holo holo ka lerato ka bakala tshebetso ya bona dudisanang ha mmoho ka gotso haleluya so you hear people when they talk about pastors o tla batho ha ba bua ka you look at them you fear for their future. When people talk about pastors, when, when you know immediately you talk. Hang hang how bua. When we just listen and say, ah, this man is does not know principles. The Bible says they are. They need you we need to show them double honor. Because those people they have authority. Was it Elijah? Or Elisha? Is it Elijah or Elisha? That the, the young boys were busy saying Baldi, Baldi, Bandana. You remember? You remember what happened when he kissed them? Now ya hopola ho yetsa etseng ha ba rohaka. Little children. Bana ba banyenyane. Sometimes we are facing a lot of battles. Kana go tseding re shebane le ntwa tsengata. That we have invited ourselves. So re di pitsitseng ka borona. You just talk anyhow. O bua ka tsela we rata. Because people have the this impression that Pastors are bound to pray for them. Hobane batho bana le nthwena e ba itjetsa nyona ya hore ba ruti ba tlamile ba ba rapelle. That's not the anointing, it's an anointing of God for the people. Ha se tlolo ya bona yo ke tlolo ya modimo ba keng sa batho. Honor. You need to honor. The Bible says you need to show them love. Bibile re le ba bontshele rato. Love the men of God. Rata mahlanka motimo. Somebody who prays for you. Motho ya rapelang. Fast for you. Ya itiman dijo ba ke nsa ha. You can talk anyhow. O bua ka mo go rata. People of Ghana ke o bolella we. The Bible says I taught you that honor gives access. Ke le bolelletse hore Bible e re. Tlompo e bula mamati. You you get access to people. O gona o finyela ho batho. When you have honor. Ha ona le tlompo. These days we don't talk. We don't talk too much. We just move away from you. We just move. You you see people moving away from you. You ask yourself because you talk too much. Talk anyhow. What is? Oh no. You forgot the good he done yesterday. May the good Lord bless his wedding in the midst of...